My name is Kevin Nasto, and I'm going to be doing a, uh, a lightning talk here on how to install Anaconda. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Um, I uh, have been a Python user for uh, five years, and uh, in last year I've been uh, learning about data science. And uh, one of the things about uh, Python and data science is that uh, it's kind of a pain to install some of these packages. Uh, they require C extensions, and uh, you can uh, get into problems like uh, this, like uh, import sklearn, and then you get a DLL load failed. Uh, I don't even know how to deal with that. Um, I spent like uh, in a hackathon like three hours, and I was trying to figure this out and just to install a, a package. So it's, it's, uh, it's annoying. So this is where uh, Anaconda comes in. And what it is is it's a... Uh, third-party Python uh, distribution and package manager, and uh, it will install the packages for you, so you don't have to worry about it. Um, so it includes a C compiler um, and installs locally. And uh, the good thing about that is that um, if you uh, uh, need admin privileges and uh, you, know, you can't get through it, uh, you can uh, bypass uh, security. Uh, I uh, got yelled at for doing that. Uh, <laughs> I wouldn't recommend it, but uh, you can, you, you know, sometimes depending on the system, you, you can get around restrictions. Um, so yeah, you can, uh, a lot of uh, packages you can install are, uh, you know, uh, Pandas, sklearn, uh, TensorFlow, uh, just, just like there's thousands of packages. Um, so there's uh, Anaconda and Miniconda. Um, so, and then there's Conda too. So, um, Conda is the package manager, and it's used by both. And then Anaconda uh, just includes everything in there, and it's five gigabytes. Um, Miniconda is just is a minimal installation of Anaconda. Um, so, first step: download Anaconda. Second step: install. Third step: activate the virtual environment, and then uh, install the package with that you're interested in with Conda install. Um, so we're gonna go through the Ubuntu installation first, which should be similar to uh, Mac, and we're gonna do mini Conda first. So uh, just uh, type it in uh, Google and uh, find the 64-bit version, or yeah, I mean, most things are 64-bit. Uh, it, uh, it's like 30 megabytes or something like that. Uh, bash, and then... Uh, Scroll through everything real quickly. Uh, just go to the defaults. Um, this actually usually takes like 10 minutes, but I kind of just cheated there and fast forwarded. Um, and uh, you got to go through into the virtual environment, activate it with uh, source, and uh, there you go. Uh, now you can install TensorFlow or whatever you want to install. And uh, this usually takes like 10 minutes too, but uh, I uh, gonna skip ahead here. Uh, it's a video, so it's <laughs> easy to do that. Fortunately, not in your life. Um, so yeah, now you check it out, and uh, okay, there it is. And uh, just import, make sure it works. And uh, there you go, it's installed. Um, and you can do this uh, similar steps on a Mac as well. Um, so uh, when you activate the virtual environment, uh, you want to do um, in Windows scripts uh, slash activate. And then for Linux, it's going to be uh, source uh, bin uh, slash activate. So it's, the directories are slightly different there. Um, now, it is recommended to actually create your own environment based on the base uh, environment instead of just using the same one. Uh, that's just a recommendation, though. If you're in a hurry, then you can just um, go ahead and uh, use the base. Um, so yeah, we're going to do Anaconda this time instead of Miniconda. And uh, just, uh, and Windows, this is Windows here. And uh, yeah, so uh, go through the uh, exe file, uh, wait for that to finish. Uh, it's 600 megabytes, it's Anaconda. It includes like 5,000 different Python packages, so it's gonna take a while. Um, and uh, you know, open up the installer. Um, this actually also takes, just go through the defaults, and then this is going to take also like half an hour because it's like five gigabytes of stuff, um, but I just fast forwarded through it. Uh, can't do that in real life, but um, 
All right, so yeah, just follow the installer, and um, you want to go to the Start menu and find the Anaconda prompt, which will uh, automatically activate the virtual environment for you. Uh, you don't have to find the path yourself. Um, so yeah, and uh, now what you can do is just um, import the packages that you want to do, and um, they're already included, because this is uh, Anaconda, not Miniconda. Um, sometimes some, some things will be missing, but mostly uh, it's going to be there. Um, wait, hold on a second. I think I skipped the Q&A slide, but anybody have any questions? All right, uh, right there. Yeah, so I mean, it comes with a virtual environment already, but uh, you're supposed to make a new one. Oh, I'm sorry, the question was, uh, what's the point of making the virtual environment? Um, so it already comes with one, but what you can do is you can um, make a new one, and um, that will make it so that when you install a bunch of packages, you don't affect the main one. So if you have some kind of weird, you have like 100 packages on one uh, virtual environment, maybe for another application, you just need like three packages, so this way they're separate and the packages you have for each application are distinct. So, um, second question over there. Yeah, does the package manager conflict with, uh, let's say, Gru or Mac? Um, I, I, it's like a separate, uh, the question was, does it conflict with a Brew for Mac? And um, the answer to that question is that um, it's a completely separate installation, um, so it has no relationship. So it's it's inside a folder um, on your user. So um, if you install something on Mac, it's going to be using your uh, Mac stuff. But then if you install Anaconda, it's going to be in a s separate folder. And then in order to use that, you have to actually activate the virtual environment. It's not going to put anything by default. So if you type in Python, it's, it's, you have to activate it first before you can use it. Um, and uh, that's my time. So uh, thank you very much.